Welcome back to Houston Life. It is time now for our H-Town sit down. Let's meet today's guest. He played 17 seasons in the NBA. He's also in the NBA Hall of Fame, six-time NBA champion and two-time Olympic gold medalist. Retired NBA legend Scottie Pippen is simply one of the best to ever grace a basketball court. The former Chicago Bulls and Houston Rockets player who recently released his memoir, Unguarded, is also an entrepreneur, bringing his smooth style to the world of spirits with his bourbon whiskey called Digits. Let's have a cheers with Scotty Pippen in our H-Town sit down. Come on out, Scotty. Welcome to the show. It's so great to see Thank you. you. Thanks for being here. Thank you. And thanks for the cocktails. Yes, no, this yes. is for the drinks. This is like the best day ever. <laughs> Scotty, welcome to Houston Life. It's so nice to see you and meet you in person. I was telling Courtney the other day, I feel like my childhood dreams are like coming true because I had wow. your basketball cards and uh, you were the favorite of the neighborhood. We're going to talk about uh, one of the reasons why you're in Houston first, but yeah. let's talk about growing up. You were one of 12 kids. Yes. Is that a reason why you found basketball? Well, I think it had a lot to do with it, but, uh, you know, growing up in the South and not having a lot to do every day, I found myself outside playing basketball all the time. And, you know, as a child, I always dreamed that one day I would play in the NBA. So I was able to live my childhood dream out. It is so fantastic. And you make it sound so easy, right? Like one day the <laughs> NBA just came calling, you know, but you were passed up on the college level. And, you know, I mean, it just your story, it, it, it's it it lends to the story of you persevering, right? And really knowing what you want to do and going after that. I mean, that's kind of how you live your life. Well, it was. I mean, I was a kid that I dreamed a lot and I dreamed one day I was playing basketball. I dreamed I was going to play baseball, football. But when it all really came to a whole, I really put all my energy and effort into basketball. And uh, it was a dream that I believed that I could achieve. And I worked at it. And as you said, it wasn't an easy journey for me. I walked on to college and earned my way to um, be drafted number five in the NBA mm -hmm. in uh, my senior year. It's incredible. And you also had some really tough things behind the scenes happening, some some family tragedies that you had to push through. What kept you going uh, during the hard times? Well, I think I just stuck with my dream. You know, I knew that there were some obstacles that I was going to have to cross uh, before I made it. But, you know, with the family tragedy and things of that nature that happened uh, along my childhood, I didn't foresee that as part of my journey but you know those were things that just made me as you say persevere even more and uh, want to do it for my family. And I know your book Unguarded has been out for a while now. Uh, was that therapeutic for you to write that? I mean there, the, every chapter has something revealing uh, and I'm going to tell the folks at home watching this get the book. Yeah read the book. Download the audio. I mean it is it is so good. Um, and it, was it therapeutic for you to kind of go through that process? It, it really was. It was, uh, it was very tough, to be honest, because I had to go back and try to relive my childhood of watching my brother being paralyzed. Yeah. And, you know, he's still living today, thank God. And, you know, my father having a stroke and just uh, us having to take care of them, you know, for most of my childhood. Wow. It really is an eye-opening look into so many details about your life, Scotty, that many of us, uh, you know, you watch you on the basketball court and you think, this guy has it easy. He's got it, got all it together. Made. Yeah, but people don't understand that it took a lot of struggles to get there. Uh, let's talk about why you're here in Houston. And I know everyone remembers you from the Bulls, but we can't forget you were a Rocket for a hot minute. Yes, I was <laughs> a Rocket for a hot minute. Just for a minute. So welcome back. <laughs> and now uh, you're in the booze business. This is great. Yeah, I'm in the booze business. First of all, I want to thank the Redmond family who's hosting me uh, at Spec. So uh, that's why, you know, I'm here in Texas and having this opportunity to share this bourbon with you guys as well. So uh, I'm very happy that they host me here. It's great. And what kind of made this happen? I mean, you don't just say, well, I'm going to make some bourbon today. Well, I've always you know? <laughs> sort of been a bourbon drinker. And um, I don't know, I think during the pandemic, one of my, well, my business partner and I, was just sitting around and he said, hey man, you should have your own bourbon. You you got the swag, you got the voice, and you enjoy drinking bourbon. So uh, we end up sending um, my business, um, well, my business partner ended up sending a message to Dave Finney's company at Savage and & Cook. And uh, they got the message. They didn't think it was 
real, but they did reach out and uh, we was able to connect. I had a long dinner with Dave Finney down in uh, Florida. He flew in and we spent about six hours drinking some wine and talking about how we can get this bourbon going and lo and behold, uh, handshake deal and here we are about a year and a half later. Fantastic. See, I think it makes total sense too because you do have the voice, you've got the swagger. We've seen George Clooney, Ryan yeah. Reynolds, George Strait do it. I think it makes sense. Talk to us about uh, the process because this is aged five years, is that right? Yes, it's a five year old bourbon. Um, and actually, uh, my master distiller, Jordan Veal, who's going to be in town today, is a lot better at telling you about this bourbon, but I can definitely tell you uh, it is a great bourbon. It has some great. Uh, Great flavors in it, I tell you. It's got a real good vanilla, a little. Um, yeah, and, and it has uh, more. Sometimes you you sniff yeah, a bourbon and it's yeah. very alcohol forward. This is not. It's yeah. it has like that maple syrup. Yes, exactly. Yeah, scent to it. Definitely got a little maple. I like it. Should we cheers? cheers Let's please. a toast to you, Scotty. Cheers. And cheers. Thanks for being yeah. so open about your life. And uh, this is 92 proof, by the way. So sip slowly. I'm just Listen, saying. It's, it's a delicious. good day at work when this happens. It's a good day at work. <laughs> right. Hey, so as Scotty Great. mentioned, he is actually signing digits bottles, taking photos. This is at the OG Specs there on Smith Street. And uh, you can't miss it. Tomorrow, starting at 4.30 to 6 p.m., my recommendation, get there early because I'm sure there's going to be a line all the way to downtown. I hope so. <laughs> there will be. This is absolutely lovely. It's such a pleasure to meet you, and thank you so much for coming back to Houston. It is such a pleasure. Thank you guys for having me, and uh, cheers again. Cheers. Thanks. Cheers to you, Scotty. So nice to meet you. And by the way, to learn more about Digits Bourbon and tomorrow's meet and greet with Scotty, head over to the Scene on Houston Life section of our website. It's a good day at work. It's a real good day it's at work. It's a bourbon and Scotty Pippen. Mm -hmm. Who knew? All right.